Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all are tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. Today's video, guys, we're going to be uh, opening up a package all the way from Mississippi, and we're going to be reviving Mr. Hambone, Hambone Blaze. Remember, he sent that knife in for the auction tonight. This is a custom muskrat made by Mr. Hambone Blades. It has got orange Corian handles. It's razor sharp. And it's just an awesome knife, guys. We're going to be reviving this little, well, this big four-blade Boker USA Congress knife. It's a beautiful knife. Darren handles. And we're going to touch up some of the blades and we're going to clean it up. And we're going to get it in, into the mail to him here real soon. Probably sometime this week. Pro probably when I ship everything else off for the auction. Uh, but again, a reminder, auction tonight at 7 p.m. On whatnot, you will find the link to the auction down below. I've already got a bunch of pre-bids, and I want to thank every one of y'all. I think we already surpassed the amount that I was hoping to get. So uh, that is awesome, guys. I just want to thank all y'all for that. And uh, again, guys, it's just going to be a wonderful day here in the knife shop. Got my coffee here. And we're going to be opening package and we're going to be um, reviving or cleaning and touching up the blades a little bit on a, a Boker USA, uh, a vintage, a very vintage Congress knife. And uh, Hambone Blades, Mr. Gordon, his son gave him this knife. So that makes it special. So anyway, guys, thank y'all for tuning in today and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, guys. Here's the knife we're going to be cleaning up for Mr. Hambone. And we're just going to be touching up all these blades here. Give it a new point right here. We're going to leave some patina on there. We're going to take some of it off. But uh, we're going to have to give all these blades a new edge. Somebody been grinding on it. As you can tell, see there? They just don't have a fine straight line edge but we're going to take it around a three inch bench grinder on that fiber wheel and clean it up it's going to be really fun You always got to be careful with these multi-blade knives because they will cut you just opening the blades if you ain't careful.
Look at that half stop. Hear them geese? There's a pond across the road. That's where they go land at. A little bit sad. She's coming back alive. You hear that? That pop. She's walking and talking. That one's got a little bit. It's got a good spring though. There we go. It's starting to. It's starting to waking up. Look up. It's gonna have lots of good patina in them springs and the blades. It's just a beautiful old knife. And again, guys. I could probably get all that patina out if I keep doing it over there on that fiber wheel. But you know what? I say it all the time. Sometimes you got to let an old knife just be an old knife. Let it show its age. Let it be. Don't try to make it new again. Just try to get it where it looks good and let it show its age, you know. It's a beautiful knife. We're fixing to get the never dull out. Then we're gonna hit it with flits. Get a new piece for this one. Show that gook. Okay, now guys, we're fixing to open this package all the way from Monticello, Mississippi. And it is from Mr. Wyman Hammond. Fixing to open it up and see what's inside. Open it up with my trusty 722 Custom Spitfire from Buck. Coyote Brown, black handles, black clip. Put my leather lanyard in there. Black liner. That's a beautiful knife. I think I'm fixing to order me a green one too. Check that out, y'all. Ain't that awesome? This keychain right here. Mr. Hammond, thank you, buddy, so much. Okay, guys. March 29th, 2024. Hello from Monticello, Mississippi. Knife Doctor. This is Wyman Hammond, BKA Fishhook. I have a few things I thought you could get some use out of. The pancake sheath is made for a K Slimline Trapper. The two holsters are for 22 pistols. If you have no need for them, maybe you can use them on trade. Hope this package finds you and yours doing well. God is my Father and Jesus saves. Amen, man. Amen. He is so good all the time. All the time. And this looks like a collector's bag. Thank you so much for this. I need some. <laughs> Believe it or not, 
Uh, all mine are getting full, man. Thank you so much for this. And he does custom leather work. See there? Ha Hammond Custom Leather. Wyman Hammond. All the way from Monticello, Mississippi. Ain't that awesome? Check these out, guys. That is beautiful. Beautiful work, man. Check that out. Golly. I have a Colt 38, an old one. I wonder if that'll fit in there. That's what it looks like. I might have try that out because I have an old Colt. That'll be beautiful in there, man. Beautiful. Awesome. I'm going to see if it'll fit in there. Look, oh, look at that, y'all. I love your trademark, man. Beautiful. Ain't that awesome work, guys? Man, that's beautiful. Yeah, I might have tried that 38 Colt, man. Because it's got a long barrel. Man, I love this. And check this out, y'all. I love that sheet. Look at that. Man. This is some beautiful work, Wayman. Look at that. Beautiful. I can't wait to try that out on a slimline trapper. And this one, I know I'm going to enjoy cleaning up now. What year is this? It's a newer case. I learned something the other day, guys. This is a 2018, I think. No, 2016. But you see that S? What's been confusing me, I messaged Deep South Cutlery and Outdoors, Mr. Uh, Bond. He's the owner of the company. But what was confusing me, see that S? That's not a lightning bolt S. That means this is carbon steel. But if it's a lightning bolt S, that means it's stainless steel. So that's what was confusing me. So now I know. I did not know that. But you see there's four X's. No, hang on. There's five X's. One, two, three. Yeah, five. So this is a 2015. But I was looking at one of these the other day with that clip on it so I can just wear one. So I can't wait to clean this up. Matter of fact, in tomorrow's video, guys... I'm going to be cleaning these two up, repairing this one here with a broke tip and cleaning this one up and carrying it for a little while. I love this, Wayman. I love it, man. I've been wanting to try one. Liner lock, too, man. Check that out. Ain't it awesome? Awesome, buddy. I love this. Can't wait to clean this up tomorrow. And the pattern is 3154 LC. It's got CV chrome vanadium. But again, which is a kind of a carbon steel, and it will rust. But if you see one like this and it has a lightning bolt S, that means it's a stainless steel. But if it don't have a uh, lightning bolt S, now this ain't, the, the 80s is always a lightning bolt S. But I'm talking about the newer. If it ain't a lightning bolt S, that means it's carbon steel or chrome vanadium. Ain't that awesome? Love this, man. I love this right here. And I do have a slimline trapper I can use in this too. Awesome, buddy. Do you need something? Just give him a call. Awesome. I love his trademark too. Very cool. And I'm going to start using this keychain, y'all. Love that right there. Awesome. Okay, guys. Here's my old Colt pistol. As you can see, the Colt right there. And it is a 38 Police Positive Special. And she's loaded now. And look here. It fits like a glove see there <laughs> oh i love it wayman thank you buddy mr wayman hammond from monticello mississippi how about that 
Ain't that awesome? Fits like a glove, man. Just right. I figured it would fit because this thing is so skinny. But this is an old gun now. Probably from the... If I think if I remember right, it's from the 1920s. It's a nice, nice pistol. Ain't that cool? Yes, sir. Beautiful, ain't it? Wayman Hammond, thank you, buddy, so much for this. Ain't it awesome? Very cool, buddy. Thank you, man. Wayman sent those custom-made sheaths all the way from Monticello, Mississippi. 414 miles away from Ellaville, Georgia. Wayman, thank you, buddy, for that uh, case knife and all them nice leather sheaths, buddy. I appreciate you supporting the channel. God bless you, buddy. Hey, guys, here she is. Ain't it beautiful? Beautiful now. Look at that new edge. I gave that blade right there. It's sharp, too. This has got some good carbon steel. Anytime you got patina like this, you know it's good. Man, that's sharp. And I ain't even touched it with uh, my work sharp. This is just straight from the sander, and it's sharp now. Beautiful. See that? Awesome. And it cleaned up really nice on the inside, too. I'll show you. Anytime you got multi-blades, you can cut yourself like I did right there. Uh, especially with that case the other day when I cut myself, the last time I cut myself right there. The springs are so strong. When I open it up, it's got a half stop. And it just flung my hand over into it because I had to. And it, it so sliced it open. But check that out, how clean it is. I love doing this, guys. I love reviving old knives. I really do. I love saving lives of old knives. I'm a knife saver. <laughs> I love it. Hit that snap. See that? This knife's excellent shape to be as old as it is. I'm going to continue to wipe it down. Ain't that beautiful, guys? Mm -mm -mm. USA Boca Tree brand. Again, that trademark, they used to make tools back in the 1600s. And that chestnut tree was beside their, uh, their shop. That's a chestnut tree. Ain't that cool? Very cool. Love it. Well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. I just love working on knives like this. In need of repair, little little TLC is all it needed. Wasn't that much of a touch up on the blades. I just, they just needed to be reshaped a little bit, re-edged. Beautiful knife now, though, ain't it? Gordon, I hope I made you happy, buddy, because it's a beautiful knife, man. Beautiful knife. Beautiful. And, uh... Tomorrow, guys, I'm going to be working on these two case knives. I've got a few more packages to open. I'm, I'm almost caught up. Uh, so uh, I, I had a lot to come in these past two weeks. It's just been hard to uh, keep up with that. And uh, I hope you all uh, they understand, too, that I had to get everything done for the auction. Uh, I have all of them up there now. I think there's 32 knives. You know, uh, somebody said you need to put more knives out there. It'd be more than merrier but i'm telling you guys one man show shipping out 32 things and you got to do it within two days i'm gonna try to get them all out monday so um i'm gonna have to film tomorrow's video today this evening so it could be out first thing in the morning so i can be shipping probably the good part of the morning tomorrow to get them out tomorrow so uh but again guys i just want to thank you all for all the support over there on, on whatnot most of the knives have pre-bids already I just want to thank y'all for that. Um, but again, tonight at 7 p.m., what not? If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a link down below. Uh, you click on that, it'll take you straight over to the auction. And if you have to 
register. Uh, do whatever you need to do to uh, get ready for the auction tonight. It's going to be fun. But, uh, but guys, I don't mind this work at all. And I've, yeah, I've had some people complain I'm not answering their emails. But, guys, I try to answer all the comments I can. I try to answer all the emails I can. But there's just a lot of work goes into the auction. By the time you take pictures, upload it, write a description for it, and uh, and and link it to the the show, it's just, it's just a lot. But I don't mind. I'm not complaining. But you got to understand, I'm a one man show, and I might not be able to get all to the comments today. I might not be able to get all the e to the emails today. Uh, it's it's you know by the time I film and and uh, edit it, it's about four to six hours easy and. Uh, it just takes time, and I hope y'all uh, understand that. And Isaiah, I, uh, the items I'm getting made for you and your grandpa, they are should be ready Monday or Tuesday. So I haven't forgotten about you, Isaiah. So your items will be shipped very soon. Uh, just be 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 patient, okay? Uh, I haven't forgotten about, about you. I'm a man of my word, and it might take a little longer than I expected. They were behind where I'm getting these things made at, so uh, it just takes time. So I hope you understand, but I think you'll like what I'm sending you. It's a surprise, okay? You and your grandma. Anyway, guys, thank you all for tuning in today. I just want to say God bless y'all, and until we meet again, guys, I'll be like a good night. Stay sharp.